Coming up on this episode of Turnaround Theory, Dana Dane, 1987, my new TikTok friend will break it down to you on the Pookies and the Pookishas and Ray Rays that get involved in that thug life situation after getting it on in the club. And later on, we'll look at a video about a woman who talks about wanting a man that's got a little criminal history on him. Stay tuned for this episode because fellas, as I often say, grab a snack and come on back because y'all just might learn something. Roll the intro. <laughs> What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Turnaround, a.k.a. Tenacious T. And welcome back to another episode of Turnaround Theory, where I give you a theoretical thought on yeah, just about anything. Listen, if you are new to my channel, I personally want to welcome you. And to all of my returning subscribers, welcome back. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. It would help out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell because you will be instantly notified every single time yours truly upload and post up more additional content onto the channel. Today's episode is all about the women that are involved with the Pookies and Ray Rays and how they settle for those type of dudes that's got a criminal history. I invite you to stay tuned for this episode of Turnaround Theory because at the end of this episode, I will give you a theoretical thought based on this episode. Listen. Don't forget to follow me on all social media. Check out my website. Everything that I just said as far as social media and my actual website will all be posted up in the link in the description box below. So with that being said, let's jump right into it with today's episode of Turnaround Steering. Now, we all know that women will always have a preference when it comes to a certain type of man that they're looking for. But when it comes to the man that's in the top 1%, they're not the caliber man that she's looking for. So instead, she decides to go out and go find her a pookie instead that she met at the club. Now, on this video, I'm about to show you, again, shout out to Dana Dane 1987 of TikTok. She's going to break down the fundamental concept about a pookie, pookisha, and Ray Ray that get it on in the club, and he can't wait to go home with the pookisha and why these women will settle for these type of dudes that's got a hell of a criminal record. Stay tuned, and I'm going to come right back. So I'm not sure at what point they stopped teaching, like, the sexual education in school and, like, where a lot of y'all got lost and confused and how children are made or how you, you know, get pregnant. But I'm going to break something down for some of you Pukishas because I think that a lot of y'all are in confusion about how you ended up being an accidental baby mama. But I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to give you a full diagram of how this happened because the way y'all keep coming to my page and trying to use having some Pookie's baby as a flex and telling me that I'm upset because I don't have a baby by a Pookie, let me explain to you really quickly how this happened because it seems that you were a little confused. Why don't you explain this to me like I am an eight-year-old? So this story starts off with a pack of pookies at the club, drinking and smoking out of their mind. And then the pookie in the middle realized that it's getting towards the end of the night and he ain't got nothing to go home with yet. And the way he feeling, he horny. He can't go home alone. He been shooting his shot all night at the good looking girls and they all been turning them down. But all of a sudden, he spot a pack of booger wolves over to his left. And you, Pookisha, you in the middle, dancing on your homegirls like you gay, trying to get some attention. And he realized, oh, yeah, you damn bad. You'll do for the night. So he end up taking you to Waffle House. And because you're not used to nobody doing nothing nice for you, you take that as fine dining. And next thing you know it, you somewhere in the bed with Pookie having sex. And no, y'all ain't using no protection. And he don't realize you ain't on no contraceptives. So next thing you know it, you somewhere pregnant. You are not. Anytime you come on my page and tell me that I'm upset because you ended up being Pookie's baby mama, just remember, Pookie not happy about you being his baby mama. 
Pookie hates the fact that you his baby mama. Pookie wished that he could go back to that day when he was at the club with his homeboys and he could have his homeboys talk him out of going and messing with them pack of booger wolves, which is AKA you. And he wished none of this ever happened. So the next time you think that it's a flex to tell me that I wish I was in the position that you was in, just remember, Pookie wish he wasn't in the position with you. Special shout out to Dana Dane 1987 for this video that she posted up on TikTok. Real talk, she was speaking nothing but facts. This next video might not be a surprise to you, but you're gonna look at a young lady that talks about she wants to deal with a thug that's in the corporate world that's got a little criminal history on him. Stay tuned and watch this video and I'm gonna come right back. Heard a minute that's corporate, but thuggish but did a little time but are reformed that been a thought but want to be in love now where y'all at none of your damn business why is it that black women will say we want a corporate thug huh do we not realize that a corporate thug doesn't exist nope why is it that a good man is considered corny or a nerd I don't know nothing about that. Do we not understand that those are the men that we want in our lives? Nope. Because the corny man is going to be there for his family. He's going to take care of his children. Straight facts. The corny man is going to make sure that he remembers your birthday, your anniversary, or the, the day that you met. The corny man will surprise you with flowers from time to time. The corny man is going to be down with you through thick and thin and when things get rough. The nerd is usually the man with the high income. He's usually intelligent and he's going to think things through before he makes a move. The nerd is usually the man who is calculating his next move to ensure the best outcome for his family and his situation. But we don't want that. We want drama. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> and the reality of it is nine times out of 10, most of these women will wind up being on the Maury show saying, when Mar reads those results, you gonna be the father. And it turns out that he's not because she done slept around with other men before she even got with you. Ain't that something? It's fascinating. She belongs to the streets. Don't go away because I'll be right back with a theoretical thought after this. I'm getting sick of women asking me, where are the good men at? But you stay in your house every Friday night, you antisocial, you don't respond to DMs, and you got the nerve to be like, where are the good men at? Not in your house. You are a good catch that no one knows about because you spend your time working, going home, working, going home. You don't do sh and even when you do sh you don't socialize. You do not spark invitations. You don't even look inviting. And you're wondering why you can't find no good men. I, I, I'm i just one of those people that no good men exist. Just so happen, he not the postman. He ain't coming to your house. Some of y'all, the only way y'all gonna meet a man is if your toilet stopped up, you call a plumber, and that plumber is him. Because you don't go no f where. I don't like the club, Ace. Take a hike, go to the library, get cute, and go to Home Depot for all I care do something and now turn around theoretical thought yes sir yes sir yes sir you know what time it is this is my favorite part of the show in this segment about to close it out giving you a theoretical thought based on today's episode about women that ask where the good men are but instead they settle for them pookies and ray rays so here's your theoretical thought for the day Fellas, don't deal with these type of women that are set up for a Pookie and Ray Ray because once you deal with them, they wind up getting pregnant and they'll allegedly claim that you the baby daddy when she goes around sleeping around with multiple men and you wind up on the Morris show being tested as one of the potential baby daddies. Stay away from those type of women that want to be Pookishas. Get you a real woman that's going to be a traditional woman to be a housewife and love you for you and not for what's in your wallet. The truth of the matter is, women nowadays, they only settle for the Pookies and Ray Rays that's got a hell of a criminal record. That's your theoretical thought for the day. Listen, thank you for watching this episode of Turnaround Theory exclusively on my YouTube channel. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to the channel. It will help out with the YouTube algorithm onto my channel. And don't you forget to click on that post notification bell because you will be instantly notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. Until next time, I'm your boy, Mr. Turnaround, a.k.a. Tanisha Stay saying, Team Turnaround out.